Michelle and welcome to my channel. This video is a very special and important one to me. It is for Mental Health Awareness Month. This touches me deeply because I have suffered with mental health since I was a teenager. I'm going to talk a little bit about my story as I'm doing the tutorial for this look I came up with right here. This look that I came up with is sort of like the bright colorful side of yourself when you're happy, cheerful, and kind of putting down all of those bad feelings that you have. And in the center here is like your dark soulless feelings, the things you think people are thinking of you, the things you think of yourself written all over the chest, hitting you inside your heart like a knife. I think mental health is super important. A lot of people don't take it seriously enough. You need to ask how your friends are doing. I just want to say quickly without getting emotional, thank you to everybody that watches my channel. You know who you are. My good friends, they have been there for me. Like you wouldn't believe I've been going through a really hard time. I have been having a really hard time with my health as well as many other things in my life and they are always there for me and that is so important even to just have one person that you can talk to please don't just sit in your room and be alone that is when bad things can happen you need to try to talk to somebody if you are feeling down depressed suicidal anything super bad anxiety and you are having bad thoughts please please talk to somebody if you just happen to be seeing this video message me honestly I will be there for you I will be your friend I have met some of the most amazing people in this YouTube beauty community I just want to say that for anyone suffering with mental health I truly know how hard it is I suffer with depression severe anxiety social anxiety and PTSD depression these things are not jokes these things can affect your whole life and make it so that you can't function as a normal human being in society. Just because you may not be able to see it on the outside doesn't mean that you don't feel sick on the inside. You can feel it, you know it's there, and that's what's really frustrating about mental health is because people don't see it. So you could be smiling on the outside and dying on the inside. You could have just left your house after crying all day. You put on some makeup, cover up those bags and those puffy eyes, and nobody's the wiser. Nobody knows that you might have been having suicidal thoughts. Nobody knows what you might be planning. Nobody knows what you might be going through. And I'm one to want to just be happy and joke around and make people laugh and not bring people down. It's not very fun, right, to message somebody or to spend time with somebody who's just sad all the time, but everybody needs someone when they have the sad times and I swear laughter is the best medicine. There is nothing better than laughing with your friends, being silly, watching a funny movie. It will help you get your mind off of things so well. I'm no scientist and I'm definitely no doctor but I really feel that it releases some sort of happy chemicals in your brain and raises your serotonin levels. You just feel better. I always notice when I'm feeling super down and I start joking around with my daughter and zone out to something on TV that's very light and funny it takes my mind off things I know your problems will still always be there but it's just a little tip that I do when I'm feeling super down I have been struggling with a lot of health issues that are unresolved and that in itself can cause so much depression and anxiety not knowing what's wrong with me just feeling like I can't do the things I want to do because I'm in pain all the time. Makeup is my escape. As much as sometimes it's hard to get up and get started, I am so happy that I got up and did this look. I think it turned out really cool and it has such a deep meaning for me. If you are all for mental health awareness and you love the fact that I did this look to celebrate paying attention to people with mental health, there is such a stigma around mental health that people don't wanna talk about it. People wanna act like it's not there. And I think it's super important. Please give this video a thumbs up if you are down for mental health awareness. It is so, so important. And if you like this look that I came up with, I think it really represents anxiety, depression, 
bullying. I just want to say quickly before I get into this tutorial, if you are new here, I would love it if you'd subscribe. I do a lot of SFX makeup looks such as this one on my channel as well as some glam looks and some product reviews. So you'll see a lot of cool different type of makeup on this channel. If you are new here, comment down below and say hi. I really love making new friends and I mean that from the bottom of my heart. I will support your channel so if you have a channel let me know and I will definitely check you out and subscribe. Subscribe to me as well. I would appreciate it so so much I work so hard on this channel and on these looks they take me hours to do and I hope that you learn something with me filming the look. I just love YouTube. It is my everything. I watch YouTube more than TV. This intro is getting really long so let's just get into the tutorial. So this mental health awareness month is really important to me. I suffer very badly with mental health as well as so many of my loved ones, my friends, my online friends. I see so many people suffering with it, posting things online that they're having a really hard time and I feel for them. I totally understand where they're coming from. Mental health is no joke and just because you can't see it doesn't mean that it's not there or it's something that you can just get over or just forget about. So I'm going to do this look for mental health awareness. It's going to be partly my outside that everybody sees, my happy, chipper, rainbow self, and then what I feel like inside the dark, soulless, helpless, anxiety, the fear, the pain, everything that you feel on the inside. We're going to portray that in this look today. So we're going to use some black Snazaroo paint for the outline. I do want to talk a little bit about my own mental health. I struggle from PTSD, horrible social anxiety to the point that I have a hard time going anywhere without somebody with me. I don't tell people that a lot, but it is really bad. I had some things happen to me as a child that, you know, caused me to feel very fearful by myself. and. I basically just live with it. I have tried so many different kinds of medications and I don't like the way they make me feel. They cause me so much stomach upset and they just make me feel weird. I don't feel that they help me. I have tried to commit suicide on antidepressants before. I have been dealing with depression and anxiety since I was a teenager. They have been trying me on so many different meds for so many, so many years. I still have my dark days and, you know, I suffer from chronic pain and some things that I'm not really sure what's going on, but I'm just always in pain. And, you know, pain can cause a lot of depression as well. I can honestly say thanks to my children that... I would never end my life because I know they need me and I would never want to cause them that kind of pain. So in a lot of ways they saved my life. Oh, I just washed my hair and I don't want paint in it. I have been to so many counselors in my life as well. I was forced to go a few times a week when I lived with my father because I was there and it was a forced situation. I didn't really get much out of it. I hated going. I hated that they made me go. I didn't want to talk about the things that had happened to me. I did go through uh, sexual abuse. I was also raped as a teenager. And there's a few other things that I just don't care to talk about on here. But basically, you know, I truly believe everything that you go through in life, you know, molds you into who you are as an adult. Some people can move past things and just go on and live a normal life and other people have a much harder time. I wouldn't say anybody's pain is less than anybody else's, but everybody just handles things differently. I was bullied a lot as a child and I did get phone calls and stuff. They'd call and hang up and call and ask for me and say nasty things. But you know, you could avoid it and not get on the phone a little bit better than the social media. It's literally everywhere. They have apps where you can anonymously say things about people. I don't know why anybody would put their stuff on there. I think I'm going to put all the words, the things that you feel deep inside in here around my heart. 
all the words that people have told you, the things that you think about yourself that you think other people might be thinking. Okay, so my trick for making white work nicely on the skin, especially for a large area, is mixing it with a bit of foundation. So this is just the NYX Total Control Drops. I'm gonna use some of that. We're gonna go into the white Snazaroo paint. Oh, it's trying to run away from me. Some foundation in here. Get some white. Like it really feels uncomfortable to talk about your mental health. You know, a lot of people don't understand. Uh, they think you're just looking for pity or you're acting like the victim. It just feels that way. Maybe they don't really think that. You get in your head a lot when you have anxiety and depression. You think kind of everybody's against you. It's really hard when you feel trapped in your own mind. And that's how I feel a lot of times. I feel like I'm a prisoner of my own mind. And it's awful. It truly is awful. Back's starting to hurt already. And I've barely done anything. Shoot! It's in the hair. Tried not to. When you mix the white in with the foundation, it goes on so much smoother and it really helps for the cracking. You ever just feel so alone, so helpless, not needed, just... I want to let anyone know that watches this video, whether we've spoke before, you're my friend, you've never spoke to me before, if you ever feel you know, anxious, depressed, suicidal, anything like that, please go talk to somebody. Do not let it fester. Do not sit alone if possible. I mean, as much as I feel that way a lot of times and I don't go to anybody, when I do go talk to somebody. It does really help just to feel like you have somebody who cares about you. It's really important, I think, to not just fester in your own thoughts as best as you can. I mean, people say, think positive and stuff like that. But when you have a chemical imbalance, it's not your fault. It's not always easy to think positive as much as you try. And believe me, I try. And a lot of days I do fine and nobody would ever know how bad of anxiety I have, how depressed I might be, that I may have just come from bawling my eyes out. And you may never know once I've done my makeup and stuff, and I seem fine, right? That's the thing about anxiety and depression. You can't always tell what somebody's going through and sometimes it's too late. And that's the really sad part about mental health. I truly, truly feel like anybody who needs a friend, I would be there for them day or night. I know what it's like to feel alone and just a need to talk. When I used to go to a counselor I haven't been in a while. I'm kind of waiting for a new one. I don't really like the one that I was seeing. I actually was honest with her and told her, you know, I just don't feel comfortable to break down and just say really how I feel and have like a big cry fest with somebody that, you know, you barely know. Even if you go to see them once a week or whatever, it's still they're like a stranger. They're getting paid to listen to you and that's just really hard for me to deal with. Even my doctor, I am horrible for putting off going to see the doctor and just trying to function with the pain that I'm dealing with and just never dealing with it and just going on day by day as if this is how I'm supposed to feel. I know it's not, I know it's not normal, but I just, I'm just like that. I just, I don't wanna deal with it. I don't wanna go complain. Recently, I spent three days in the hospital, in and out, doing tests and stuff. I finally just couldn't take it anymore and they still couldn't even find what was wrong with me and that's the other frustrating part. When it's depression caused by pain, a lot of times you feel like 
helpless because you can't fix it and you just have to live with it and you can't do the things you want to do because you hurt. In my case, it's that on top of the fact that every time I do try and go try to get help, they can't figure out what's wrong with me. Like I'm in pain constantly and that makes me depressed as well as the things that have happened to me in my life that have caused me a lot of depression and anxiety. I struggle every single day. So Mental Health Awareness Month is really important. I think people should be aware, people should see the signs, people should ask about their friends, make sure their friends are okay. It's better to bug somebody and keep asking than something to happen and you never got the chance. There's so many kids nowadays committing suicide. It is heartbreaking. I have two kids and if anything happened to my children, like I wouldn't wanna be here anymore. I can't imagine the pain that these parents go through losing children. Makeup really is my escape. As much as it's hard sometimes to just get up and do it because I'm in pain, like right now my back and my side is in agony, but I just love doing it. I love creating, I love the effect after, the feeling proud, the accomplishment. Doesn't always turn out perfect or how I wanted it to be, but I try my best. I have made so many friends through makeup and YouTube that honestly, they help me so, so much. I'm so thankful for them. I don't wanna cry, but when I'm feeling down, they're there for me and I'm there for them. It's really beautiful. I have met such an amazing group of women that don't put each other down, don't talk bad about each other. Thank the Lord I found some nice people because this makeup community can be a really nasty, nasty place. The things that people say about each other, the competitive nature, you can ha be competitive without being nasty. Like it truly just hurts my heart to see the way people talk about each other. Like let's lift each other up, girl or boy. We're gonna go in with the black here and we're gonna do some shading. I'm gonna try this brush and shade around. Let's see how it works. It's so weird, the black's kind of going on bluish new shade in the collarbone. It's going black down here. I don't know why it went like gray up there. Very, very strange. I wonder if it's just the dispersing from the brush. if we use a glue stick how that would work so you just basically write any words that you think of when you're having anxiety depression we got overthinking that's a big one don't want to be social weak people are staring I feel like that a lot hopeless should have done this last but we're here now I think we're 
we're just going to shade a little bit of black around it. Just kind of mess it up a little. Sorry, I've gotten quiet. I'm just really concentrating. Shading around all the edges. Definitely, if you retry this look, put the papers on last. obsessed with this pink from this Nazaru palette. It's just so pretty. Look at how bright this yellow is. So I'm basically just mixing a bunch of rainbow colors, kind of trying to mesh them together into like whatever pattern you might think looks cool. No real rhyme or reason to this. Just, you know, this is your bright, beautiful personality, the person that you can be, the person that you show to other people. I absolutely love when I have my happy, silly, you know, just quirky moment. They say laughter is the best medicine and as lame and cliche as that sounds it is so friggin true Just trying to get my collarbone here. This has to be one of my quickest looks and honestly I think it might be one of my favorites. It has such a deep meaning and it's just super cool. So this is the final look I came up with. I think it perfectly shows how I feel having anxiety, PTSD, social anxiety, depression. Let's open up the conversation for mental health in the comments down below. Let me know if you have anxiety, if you suffer from depression. Maybe tell me a story about why you feel that way or what might have brought you to the point that you feel depression or anxiety. Anything, I would love to talk to you. Let's just have an open communication. It's really, really important to talk about it. Even if it's with somebody that's kind of like a stranger, maybe you'd feel more comfortable than talking to somebody who you feel might judge you like a family member or a friend. Not everybody is open to talking about this or understands. It feels really good to talk to somebody who does understand who does suffer from it. 
So yeah, I guess that's all I have to say right now. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. It lets me know that you're enjoying my channel. And if you are new here, I'd love it if you subscribe and join my little family. So I guess that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.